we had the chance to visit the actual antimatter factory. Antimatter is related to one of the greatest unsolved problems in physics. The Big Bang should have created equal amounts of ordinary matter and antimatter. And yet almost all the matter that we see in the universe is ordinary. Do the laws of physics apply differently to antimatter and regular matter? Can we use that to explain their imbalance in the universe? In this factory, the extra low energy antiproton ring or Elena decelerates antiprotons and delivers it to groundbreaking experiments within the facility. And of course, I took the opportunity to take a selfie with Elena. Some of those antiprotons are used to create anti-hydrogen, which consists of an antiproton and a positron. And in the G-bar experiment, which is currently underway, they're studying how they behave under the influence of gravity. They're literally dropping those of a distance of 20 centimeters. Will the antiprotons go up? or will they go down? According to Einstein's equivalence principle, they should go down. However, we've never actually done this before because anytime antimatter meets matter, annihilation occurs, making this experiment incredibly difficult to achieve. Just think how groundbreaking would it be if they were to actually go up? Or if the physicists spot a variation of the gravitational acceleration for antimatter. In order to measure the gravitational acceleration accurately, the particles need to be slowed down to a speed of one meter per second. They're being cooled down to a temperature of 10 microkelvin. This experiment is definitely groundbreaking and still on the way, but while we wait for that paper, you should definitely check out my video on the energy record of the Large Hadron Collider, and this video is just over here.